We are walking to the project station. Hi, Skeeter. So this is what we're working with here. Kyle and I, we went to a local greenhouse and picked up some of these really cute flowers and I'm going to plant them in this little uh, herb bed. I used this last year for all kinds of herbs and it turned out really great, but I wanted to change it from off the deck over there and put it over here and it can be a little like welcome box when you know we come home or if we have people come over um, and it's just a really pretty little flower bed so I'm gonna start planting I have all my utensils over here and we're gonna get planting where's your ball Squirrel. There's a squirrel over there, Skeeter. You're missing it. Oh, now we saw it. You were so close. You guys know I had the worst dull knives ever. Like, they were so bad. Anytime I would cook and post a video of me cooking, you guys would roast me in the comments saying my knives were so dull. I needed to get new knives. I needed Kyle to sharpen my knives for me. So I'm so excited to tell you guys about my Kamikoto knife set. I got a set of three knives, and it came with a vegetable knife, a slicing knife, and a utility knife. And it came in an awesome wooden box the knives are made with high quality Japanese steel and each knife is individually inspected and you also get a lifetime guarantee. I definitely noticed a huge difference when I was cutting my vegetables. It was just so easy and effortless versus me having to put all of my muscles into chopping vegetables or meat or whatever it was that I was cooking for Kyle and I. So I'm really happy with how the knives work and i mean you guys know we cook all the time so it just makes prepping so much easier kamikoto has so many offers going on but they are offering my viewers of up north sierra 50 dollars off any purchase and that's us dollars by the way so if you go to kamikoto.com slash up north or use my discount code up north that will give you 50 dollars off any order Here 
here's my dinner. I'm serving it on a paper plate. I just did dishes and I just really don't feel like dirtying another dish. I love having the kitchen over there clean. But anyway, I'm gonna dig in. I made some sweet potatoes and some broccoli, garlic broccoli, and then my steak. I'm gonna cut into it and enjoy a little dinner. Sit. Give me a woof. Give me a woof. Good boy. Give me a woof. No, sit. Sit. Nice. Nice. Give me a woof. Good boy. Oh, they are all waiting in the run. They're like, let us out. I've come to let you guys out. Are you guys ready to free range? Okay, see you at the door. Here they come. You girls can go now, you're free. Oh no, the door's shutting. Oh, there's one laying. There's a chicken laying an egg. Oh, that's so cute. Should we go give the ducks the mealworms? They go crazy over this watch. You guys want mealworms?
They're cute. I don't have treats for you chickens. I'm scared they're gonna peck my feet. So no one warned me that when I put flowers on my deck, the chickens are gonna peck them because I already have a couple casualties in this box over here. So I've been trying to figure out how I can keep them away from pecking at the flowers. I don't know. I've just been shooing them off the deck whenever they step on the deck, so hopefully they'll learn that this is off limits. I'm making a mess. Okay, so this plant is gonna go right there. Cute. It's so ugly right now, I know, but that's just how it's gonna have to be for right now until it dries. Okay, so next thing that I'm gonna do, so I have this hanging little shovel that I hang, I'm gonna hang up on the door. And I want to put this white hanging plant flower on here so it can hang down the door instead of putting it there. So I'm gonna transplant it from there into here and then I'm gonna probably just put the marigolds, all of the marigolds into this thing with, I forgot what flower that is, the orange and yellow one.
There's what that looks like. And that's what that looks like. I really hope that this grows nice and long because that would be so pretty. I feel like I should get a bigger shovel and or maybe just get like one more of like a different color or I could just do white but that would be so pretty. I really want it to turn this way towards the sun. This morning when I ran out of propane um, on the oven and stove, I went and got a, a propane tank filled. And so I just remembered, I'm like, oh, I'm about to cook dinner. I'm going to switch up the propane tanks. For some reason, I cannot get the, pro the tank that's currently connected off the hose. I literally sat under the cabin for like 30 minutes. I could, I could not, I could not get it off. So... I decided to grill tonight, so that's what's happening, and then when Kyle gets back, he's gonna have to show me how to do it because I tried and I failed. So, I was even telling myself, I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna give up, but it would not come off. So anyway, hopefully I'm not annoying you too bad with my allergy nose going on. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna cook dinner, cook some pork chops and vegetables, and that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know it's been a while. I know this isn't like a crazy video to come back to, but don't worry, there's gonna be a ton of adventures that Kyle and I will be going on this summer. So you guys will get a lot of Up North Sierra YouTube videos. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.